What's up everyone, Willie Apple here, and today Apple has released macOS Sonoma 14.5 to everyone in the world. And in this video, I'll be showing you what is new inside the software. We got a couple of things to go over today. Let's get started. All right, so the first feature has to do with unlock with Apple Watch. So if I were to just press a key right here, you're gonna see we now have a sliding animation right there. So let me do it again real fast. Pay very close attention to right here. Let me do it again. Let me press number seven. It's kind of a new feature, kind of a nice quality of life change that Apple has added to the lock screen. It's really small, but it has a really nice animation. I kind of like it. All right, so the next change has to do with Apple News Plus. If we were to scroll down a bit, and you're gonna see we got some new puzzles right here. So we have this one called Quartiles. I'm not sure what it is, but it's like matching words and it's kind of an interesting concept for a news app. I not know I not know news apps had games in it, but it's interesting that Apple has added games to the news app to begin with. But this is one of the new ones inside of the news app. It's the only new one actually. And initially inside the news app, there are now leaderboards. So I do not have the news plus, but I can only tell you why I've been told but somewhere around the lines, there's a leaderboard. I think it's time related. Unfortunately, that is it inside of macOS 14.5. However, we did get a lot of bug fixes. It's macOS 14.4, introduced a lot of bugs, including an iCloud synchronizing bug. If you, if you rely on iCloud, you definitely should update to macOS 14.5. That has been resolved here inside of this version of macOS. Its overall feels a lot more fluid than ever before. And this is by far the best version of macOS Sonoma yet. Fortunately, it's not on par with Ventura. I know viewers on this channel are interested in RAM usage. And normally when booting up, it's still at 4.1 gigabytes. Hopefully that goes down within the next couple of betas. Uh, unfortunately, we, not, we might need to wait until macOS 15. That does sound like it's going to be a smaller update, so hopefully Apple prioritizes on memory usage since that has been kind of bad here instead of macOS Sonoma. And speaking of macOS 15, we will be reacting to WWDC on this channel live when it, when it happens, so be there or be square. And thanks for watching, comment, like, subscribe, share it with your friends. Download my apps Willy Widget and Study Direct down in the description down below, and I'll see you in my next video. Bye!